Well, it's been a long time since I did my last blog and uh, things have changed quite a bit for me. Uh, some of you might know that we've had the birth of our little boy, Barry. And obviously that uh, is a big change in my life. But some things remain the same. And I've been thinking quite hard of sort of things I can do with him, even though he's only a few months old. And it occurred to me that something that'd be quite nice was to build him a busy wall. But of course, it has to have a physics theme. And um, I had a look on YouTube and the Internet uh, to see what was available. And they all seem to be very complicated or in some cases I thought actually quite dangerous. So I've set myself the challenge of building a busy wall um, out of just bits and pieces I can find lying around the place and in the laboratory um, that nobody really wants anymore and see if I can give it a really physics-y theme. So um, I kicked off with um, this lovely piece of shiny uh, timber um, that the works department had and didn't really want. Um, so they gave that to me. And um, we were given some really nice building blocks. So um, the colour of these was lovely. So I thought, I'll tell you what, I'll drill some holes in them and I can make them into handles and things to pull on the busy wall. Um, and then I had a train journey and I sort of sat on the train thinking, what can I do? So on the back of an envelope, I started designing this and um, I just thought physics mechanisms is the way to go. Things that he can pull and twist, etc. And I got home, looked around the house and found lots of bits and pieces that I could use to build it. So where did I start? Well, um, the first thing is you have to think like a child, which I know most of you will say is probably not that difficult for me. But I thought he might like something that he could pull. So I had this rather nice bit of um, rope lying around. And with the building blocks now with holes in them, so I'm um, sorry, Aid, um, they've been repurposed. Um, but thank you for your kind present. Um, just drill two holes in the board, uh, put the building blocks on, pick different colours. And he's now got something he can pull through. And uh, last night he was watching me build this, which he enjoyed, and he actually had a go at this and he just about has got the strength to do this and he rather likes the noise. Now, whilst I said I wanted the whole thing to be physics mechanisms, um, I built this a little bit without even thinking about it. Um, it's a leftover box from some biscuits, uh, which were rather nice. And um, I just drilled some holes on it, mounted it on the board, slightly off from the uh, flat part of the board. And I had loads of these large washers um, left over and really no use for them. They were far too big for any engineering jobs that I do. So I put them on the bit of rope, made sure there were no sharp edges. And in fact, he really loves this one because not only does it jingle, uh, but it makes an awful lot of noise. Um, I've added the magnetic letters, though um, thinking about safety, I think I'm going to actually um, screw these on from behind because I don't want him to pull anything off that he could uh, um, swallow or get trapped in his mouth. So back on the theme of mechanisms, I got a bit of plastic tube that was lying around in the laboratory um, and begged a couple of big bungs. Um, I've put inside some coloured marbles, a couple of bolts for end stops that aren't too long so he can't get caught on them. And he's just about beginning to realise that he can swing this from side to side and get a rather nice noise. And the bungs are sealed in with screws as well, so it can't come apart and he can't swallow any of these small parts. Now here's a mechanism I'm really quite proud of. It's just a thick piece of cardboard tube uh, with a bolt through it out to the other side. Uh, one of the building blocks and some string. And then one of the springs that the uh, children seem to always destroy in the lab. Uh, they stretch them beyond their elastic limit and damage them. And actually the only bit I've bought directly, a really cheap bicycle bell. So I can see him um, pulling on this when he gets used to it and it, it being somewhat annoying as this goes on all day.
Well, I'm not quite finished yet. I've still got a little bit more work to do, but I'm quite proud of this one too. Again, a leftover piece of plastic tubing, a couple of screws to hold the bungs in, and this one was a chemistry bung that had a hole in it already. So we can pass some string down it. I put a spring inside and it's designed to sort of spring back and I'll end up putting one of the building blocks on the end so you can pull on that and let go. And I'm probably gonna mount it about here. So that leaves me with one space left down here to occupy. And um, I took this off one of my mum's uh, marmalade, homemade marmalade jars. And it's um, just the lid, but it's serrated on the edge, which is rather nice. And I don't know if you remember um, putting those clicky things in the bicycle uh, spokes of your um, bike and then riding around. Well, what I thought I'd do is mount this so he could rotate it and have something that catches it. So it makes a nice clicking sound when he twists it round and round. So I'm almost done with this, just the remaining two mechanisms to finish and mount on the board um, and then he can have a good play with it. Um, I think as I was saying, uh, my plan was to make it out of bits that were left over so it didn't really cost anything. I wanted it to be uh, educational, so I wanted it to be sort of physics-y with sort of levers and pulls and twists etc um, and a bit of sound as well. And I also wanted the things to be a bit separate from each other. Um, some of the ones I saw on the internet were indeed busy walls, but they were so busy all over with so many different things. I think it was difficult for the child to pick which one uh, was connected to which bits on the board. It just all seemed like a, a massive maze of bits and pieces. So I hope he can see these as separate things and learn something from them. I'm sure he'll enjoy playing with them because he re he's really kind of quite enjoyed um, watching me make it. And it's funny how um, things change for you in life. Uh, I never thought um, we'd be having a baby boy, but um, all the nuts and bolts that I've used on this um, come from drawers and drawers of them I've got um, from the work I've done over years, but particularly when I was a teenager, um, racing mini cars. So I had all this stuff lying around at home and it was gathering dust and it's um, found a new life. So um, I'll put some pictures up a little bit later on to show the wall finished and... Um, that's Barry's busy wall. Oh, uh, there's one thing I forgot to say, and um, that's the fact that um, he'll probably grow out of this, but my thoughts were I could make it sort of modular, so I can take all the things off it and reuse the holes and many of the bits, particularly the um, bolts and nuts and washers and things, uh, for the next iteration of this. And I'm already thinking of the sort of devices that I can put on it to amuse him as he gets older.